Hi guys, it's Little Sister React here, and today we're going to be watching Funniest Moments from American Dad. Now, I haven't watched American Dad in like a really long time, do not remember any of the episodes or jokes. I only remember like the characters and stuff and like a few other details, so I have like everything else is going to be completely new to me. So, so we're going to be start watching this, so this is the best compilation that this guy thought was really funny. So we're going to get started with the video right now. Your guy is supposed to beat up my guy. Oh, no, 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 no. See, my guy beats you up now, and then your guy won't want to fight you tomorrow. Bullies hate sloppy seconds. What? <laughs> no, so you're gonna have some guy beat him up so that he doesn't get beat up? <laughs> that is so horrible. It's four o'clock in the bloody morning. Hello? Uh, British Prime Minister Tony Blair. Speaking. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, Steve. I thought we were going down low. <laughs> All I have to do is bait the trap. And he may be a master forger, but I... I just gotta say that of all the cartoon dads, I think he's probably, like, the best looking, like, compared to Homer or, like, Peter Griffin. Like, I think that he's probably, probably better looking, like, dad than, uh, in cartoon sitcoms. I am a master bait. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that was close. Almost masturbated myself there. <laughs> Joseph Heller's absurdist novel. <laughs> well, stop right there. You know I only read books I've already read. Or stretch your legs. Oh, oh, odometer's about to turn over to all zeros. Mm -hmm. That might be interesting to see. He's got a good taste in music. Oh, check out this girl. Just drifting along. What an interesting look she has. I'm, I'm so interested in things today. And then, <laughs> I'll just say it. I'm behaving very interestingly. Oh, is he following her now? <sighs> well, that's over. Oh, damn it! <laughs> you, you following my daughter? Screw you, buddy! Get out of here, you pervert! Your weird daughter made me miss the zeros! She, she made me miss the thing! You freako! I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> Get back in your house! Get back in your damn house! Baby brother. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. That's fun to say. Maybe, baby. 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 Why do they all sound the same? Maybe, baby. 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 Oh, I was expecting both in a better place now. That's right. Dear hell, my boy is <laughs> dead. Long live my man. You're not a man. You're not even a mammal. You're an <laughs> anti mammal. I call you animal. That's it. Animal. It may not be a word, but I know what it means. It's about time that the hunter who became the hunted becomes the hunter. <laughs> Boy, he's really confusing me and loops here. <laughs> Again. You know what, Francine? Your parents at Thanksgiving, that's not gonna work for me. Oh, and Steve, you'll have to find someone else to pick you up after your eye surgery. Okay, is he crazy or eccentric? Today. And at the end of the night, I'll say a chilly goodbye to the parent of your choosing. Do we have a deal? I'll ask you again in the car. You stay here. It's rain. It's got one of those funny rings that goes doot doot. Savages. Hello, India? Yeah, it's Pakistan. You know that nuclear peace treaty you sent over? Yeah, well, well listen to this. Yeah, yeah, that's me wiping my butt with it. Oh, 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 it is on. Oh, meet me at the border at 3 o'clock. Oh, and FYI, I'm punching a cow right now. I think they already made this joke in Family Guy. Hey, do you perchance have any Gatorade? I'm afraid I left all my electrolytes with your daughter. Francine, get out. Hey, Hello? do you know what I was thinking about last night while I was gazing at the back of your daughter's head? Your promotion. 
<laughs> is that the old guy sleeping with their teenage daughter? That is so disturbing. Good morning. <sighs> Don't you die on me, you bastard! <laughs> I've never given up on anything before! Fight, damn you, fight! <gasps> oh. I'm a man made out of water. I'm a water man. Do you know what this means? Don't just sit there and stare at me, you sack of water! Say something! We're water! Now I gotta unclone them. Unclone means kill. Whoops. Unclone means <laughs> kill. Honey! No parent should have to bury their child. Which is why your mother and I have arranged for you to be cremated. Please! As what? <laughs> this is just like, instead of burying him, he's just gonna set him on fire? <laughs> a pizza guy has ever been murdered here and buried under the foundation. <laughs> but nobody's gone to the cops, right? I just acted so heterosexual that I needed something phallic in my mouth to even things out. Steve, let the women clear the table while we adjourn to another room so I can tell you how proud I am of you without feeling like a total gay lord. I'm <laughs> Francine, it says right here, don't worry. Do, do you need to read the note again? Your reading comprehension is terrible. Steve is becoming a man, and one aspect of being a man is having absolutely no interest in women. A baby. <laughs> a baby you gave birth to and you didn't even know you were pregnant. It just popped out on the lawn. You thought you were just taking a D on the lawn, but surprise, it wasn't a deuce, it was a baby, and it's in that tub. That is so disgusting to compare. The one, one's waste and the other is like giving life. It's, it's so gross to compare them together. You're a coward. Would a coward do this? Renegade. Roger, thanks for letting me clean your place for the extra cash. No problem. Here's your 50 bucks, kiddo. Oh, and here's some old sweatshirts. And one shoe. I, I don't have the other one, so I don't know if you still... He's nice. I take. <laughs> Give me your money! What, what was that about? Is that the comeback and kick me whistle? <gasps> my god, what happened to your face, honey? I got robbed in front of my room. They stole the 50 bucks you gave me. Oh no, that's terrible. But you jackass, you're making him clean your room so you, and then you're robbing him? That is... Wow. Wow, what an ass. Oh, hey, look at my new bracelet. It jingles. <laughs> For 50 bucks, it better, right? Thanks for walking me home, Roger. We're safer in pairs. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why just give him the money? Eh, I don't have time for this. Oh, you sick bastard. Chicken pot pie? Chicken pot bye. Oh no, you got robbed again. And almost raped. Almost. <laughs> Jeff, at least use that scooter to get home. Just speed through that hallway and get home safe. <laughs> okay. But this Thanks, is scary. Roger. This is not funny anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands now. Wash your hands. Uh, was this light always here? Is this a dream or is it actually happening? Help! Okay, he's gotta know it's him, okay? Like, like you're in the same house, he's got the same body shape. This is getting ridiculous. You want me to walk you home again? It didn't help last time. Jeez, just trying to help the kid out. You're robbing him. I'm gonna rape him this time. That is not funny. You know the drill here. You know, I remember a time when this was a safe hall. <laughs> I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I can walk home without being scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be scared anymore. Just shut up and give me. Ah! Hey, he's got a seat is coming. Oh, 
Oh. You slept with my daughter? Well, to be perfectly honest, neither of us did very much sleeping. What is wrong with her? Like, can't she not see? Man, the guy is disgustingly gross. It's just a <laughs> Oh, it's a good one. Carnival. Why are we folding napkins? Because there'll be food and my boss likes to wipe his mouth on swans. What the hell is this? <laughs> Metrosexual soccer icon David Beckham. I can't do swans. I don't know why. Uh, what a long night of killing people who don't deserve it. Where is small-breasted bar wench? She didn't come in today, but there is someone here to see you. Who are you? Do you not recognize me, Dimitri? I am Mama Marouche, matriarch of the Armenian Mafia. <gasps> you kill the woman, Dimitri. You bring dishonor on our family. You know what you must do. Captain Francois Dubonnet, French Interpol. I have devoted ten years of my life to toppling your criminal empire, Madame Marouche. Your reign of terror is over. And I am Marie Dubonnet, the your hell? neglected wife. Your so are they both? So they're both con artists, or are they just like covering up their weird schemes that they were doing? Obsession with the Armenians has destroyed our marriage and driven me into the arms of my lover, Raoul. And I am Raoul. You are too old and barren. I am leaving you for a real woman who can bear me a son. <laughs> and I am your doctor. The bull's horn has done too much damage. Your testicle cannot be saved. You will never have a son. And I am. So it was actually his daughter the whole time, or is, it, is that woman just dressing like his daughter? Toro, Raoul's half bull son from the future. My father's other testicle became stronger, and he met it with a bull to conceive me. Mm. And I am an Amish idiot savant who hath proven with nary a doubt that time travel is impossible. And I'm Haley, and all of this is just a figment of my drug induced imagination. And I'm Roger. Your internship's over, Haley. Fine, just sign mm -hmm. my damn internship form. Never. Then I, Haley, am just gonna forge your signature. Roger Smith. What happened? No, oh, God. Win? No, you didn't win. You did not win. My goodness, that was um quite a show to see there. <laughs> Um, well, I definitely did not get much memory from watching those compilations. So, um, I'm gonna have to start watching it again because I have no idea what's going on, what's happening. The humor is sometimes just, like, losing me and then sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my reaction to American Dad. I can see why Family Guy is a little more popular. But all in all, it wasn't like a really bad thing. I think it was really um funny when it was the alien guy like freaking putting his mouth on that TV and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna do that. But when he was doing that to that poor guy and he was beating him and robbing him, that was just <laughs> he took it one step further. It was funny the first time, but when he kept continuing again, it was like pretty much <laughs> no longer funny anymore. I was watching like a drama crime show. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe.